How's Glenn this morning? Oh, I'm doing okay. Side where the wind's blowing 30 miles an hour, usually most of the winds here, a couple of the winds over there will be a howling. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Everybody stay in a horizontal line east and west. And <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Put some cones out there and stand by a cone. And <laughs> yeah, you can keep the cones there. Yeah. <laughs> I do have from our consulting engineers on the uh, Burning Game Road project. A uh, contract agreement for uh, uh, the inspection during the construction of that project. Oh. Pat, do you, you want to look at that? I mean, there's two copies there, original back to them and one for our needs. Uh, on that sense, uh, the appraiser has also uh, gotten into the provision or wrote the provisions of the different uh, uh, like the clear zone on the fence line and I visited with Greg Z uh, Gabrzowski Is that Vitrowski? Okay. Yeah. That's why everybody calls him. Yeah, Greg Z. Z. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He's been Z always but, uh, alive. And I'll refer to him as that. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> we discussed about the clear zone along the fence line right. for him. Uh, we uh, found a couple of flaws on the uh, on the riprap on uh, miles of side. The engineers are re-posting that on the plan. Oh, okay. Uh, he does have a fence contractor uh, contacted and is ready to build the fence. So I think that's all. I, I think we're getting close on that. Okay. Close enough that they would like to let the bids on that. And correct me, is the 17th a hey, Monday? 17th of December? No, yes. Um, 14th is Monday. 14th, 14th of December. We haven't advertised it yet in the paper, but... I've got the, uh, I've got everything ready to do. Okay. Also. And I think uh, in 
talking to all the landowners, they're all in agreement to sign. So uh, uh, I guess if something falls through, we can always uh, reject the bids, I guess. Yeah. Okay. But uh, uh, for right now, you might put it on the calendar at 9.30 on December the 14th. No, it's a road road project north of Burngate. Raising they raise the road. The roadway up to to uh, be out of the flood something. zone, which we were supposed the yeah. county was supposed to do in nineteen fifty three. Yeah, <laughs> and it's gotten. I mean, it, it's like a third of a mile. Price seems a little high to me, but I mean. Well, you're going to have to have an inspector out there on every day. It's not a just because of the raising. Well, you're you're exactly. going to have you're going to have dirt hauled in. Of course, you got two culverts to uh, replace. And uh, so you've got that project going on with this, but you got the compaction on the fill and the you're grading. basically making about a third of a mile long causeway, aren't you? And then, yeah. and then they once that is even done, then you got the uh, road stone and the base and then the asphalt and everything yeah. put on it too. So they're going to have to have an inspector there full time, mm -hmm. and that's that's the big cost. How long, what's, how long is the project going to take? You have any idea? They thought at one time six months. Yeah. Oh. Well, that explains yeah. it then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 <coughs> they said at one point it should be six months. It's a. There's a concrete part. box culverts under there now? Or? Yeah. So they have to extend them or you're going to replace them? They're going to replace them with CM or corrugated metal. Pipes. Oh, okay. So. On both of them. Okay. The one at the foot of the hill and then the one further to the north. Right. Yeah. Some of that they're raising pretty high, aren't they? Uh five to seven feet. Five, seven, five, six feet. five six feet. foot on average on most of it, uh, probably the deepest point seven foot. Yeah. Where are they gonna get the dirt? That is that it? they hope that they can acquire from the watershed. On their project, uh, which would be just right, right over the side. We're raising the water, or doing some work on the watershed dam at yeah, the same I time. Yeah, I remember that. And mm -hmm. we're trying to get the one contractor to do them both. Very good. And then. Well, and, and I, yeah, we hope that they, we can let them bid it where the, right. the one contractor will, yeah, jump on both projects. Right. So that they kind of work together. It's a symbiotic thing where, yeah, the, there you go. So, where the watershed district's doing their the project, but if they do it and the county doesn't do this raising, then my road's even going to be more underwater. Well, no, the, it, well. it won't change the, the watershed won't change the water level uh, at all. No. Oh. You'll still have the same. The map. problem was you have the normal pool or drawdown. Yeah. And then you have the auxiliary spillway. Yes. Yeah. When, when the auxiliary spillway goes over. Right. Yeah. Then it's over the road. It's over yeah. the road. So, which ha doesn't happen very often, but it, it has. It's, it's still a symbiotic thing. Right. The two projects are, but, are hooked together, but are being paid for by out of the two different. But we need to reslope the dam and do some work on it. Mm -hmm. And then, plus, it gets. Full of sediment now, so that was an opportunity to get some fill dirt to raise the road. Yeah. Um, so the sediment's what where they're hoping right. the dirt will come from. And that's why we're not real 100% on the compaction. Yeah. Well, you could. Sometimes. Between the uh, normal pool and the road, though, there's quite a bit of dirt in there. I think they can and that, dig uh, out. Night eggers. Area he had he had indicated the one area there that the the watershed could get a lot of dirt from, 
And that's not still dirt. Right. That's what I said. That, that's some good clay. Looks like right. In there. Good so, clay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. But uh, anyhow, uh, yeah, that's their proposal on doing the inspection and, and uh, everything on the project. Okay. This isn't going to flow the way you're floating the river. No, no, that's the way it's all gone, ain't it? Really? No, it's still there. Yeah. I ain't been down there. Really there I was just went down there to, yeah, with my Albert uh, deal on the uh, wind farm thing the other day, so I was, uh, went through that way. And no, nah, it's still there, but low water crop is still there to the east. Yeah. Of the <laughs> Looks like they even fish and game even took a dozer in there. And Improved it. Refloat back the cropping. Well, I move we approve the uh, agreement with Cook, Platt, and Strobel for the engineering services for this road project. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Two places. Well, two copies. So. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. So how's the wind farm doing? Are we about punched everything out now? Well, I uh, guess that res is kind of out of the whole loop now. I am no longer to make contact <coughs> with any of their personnel. Uh, I deal directly with Southern Power, which I did meet with a gentleman down there. And indicated that if this was just a John Doe landowner, we would require that they purchase a pipe and that uh, at, upon approval of our specifications, we would install that pipe and rock back to their driveway. And after I met with the Southern Power guy, he said, well, that sounds simple enough. I don't know what the big deal was. So he said, we will acquire the pipe. And, yeah, we're, we're going to put it in. But uh, I told him the reason why we wanted to be the one putting it in because, you know, just of the past experiences with somebody installing a pipe. Right? Yeah. Okay. But he, he didn't have an issue at all about it. But I think that the now the res is gone, it's going to be hopefully simpler, I think. Yeah. Okay. I think so too. But I, I think, think the Southern Power one's going to be easier for everybody to deal with. This guy was real nice. I mean, I we wasn't no. probably no. 10 minutes out there. And, uh, <coughs> and I told him how I was going to address the ditch. Both copies? Yeah. Yeah, you probably need to make a copy of it. But if you, you might want, want to, it, yeah, get a copy of it yeah, for your Go ahead and get file. a copy of it. And we'll take the other copy then. Yeah. But, uh, I, yeah, he, he, I think, <laughs> is ready to work with him. But I think, of course, that's another county and not any of our business. No. But I think that Lyon County is still having quite the issue with their black copy. Yeah, they're having. St I talked to some the one commissioner down there, and then I did the uh, trying to get the one landowner on that one culvert that the one landowner won't allow us to proceed. And I think I got the other ones on the other side too. They're aware of what their neighbors like, and that uh, 
they wish it was a new culvert, but they're understanding that it's not going to happen. Yeah. Well, I... And I don't know what else they do about it, and uh, because we needed one, cooperation, and we're not going to get it from that landowner. So the one landowner where the water will end up on, and he was very avid to us. Yes. Very, very. <laughs> and he uh, doesn't. He, he's very much an absentee, not even care till he just. And that's what the other landlords, the other landowner says. It just. It's more of a personal issue between I, them, and I, I kind of think there is something to that. Right. And that's why I'm carefully not naming names. <laughs> we gathered that uh, very much too. That, uh, but I went and I tried that, and did it, and ran it through the pipes, and life will go on. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad because uh, too bad because I it would would have fixed it. I think we we gotta help the situation out. Yeah, but. You can only do what you can do, and you move on with life. But I think we will soon be, if they Dine show up it. with this pipe, why we can have our part of it. Because they've taken care of the terrace mm -hmm. and the uh, water situation at the other driveway. They've got that taken care of. In fact, they went in and actually put in some uh, some seating, bolt seating, uh, gold uh, shields. Stuff and, and oh, okay. They, they've, they've got that taken care of, that problem. But yeah, I think it's, for all intents and purposes, it's pretty much good. Completed. So we should be a signing off, getting out of all that over there. The roads are all looking real good that they had traveled on and everything now. So Some of them look better than they were to start with. Yeah. Yeah. By far. That's yeah. Quite a bit of them are improved. 333rd is definitely better. Way than better. Was. Yeah. So, I mean, there's been some good, right. just for the township and the county right. and stuff, both out of it. So. Uh, got a pay raise for one of the employees, Ryan Trago, one year at 22 cents. And uh, one year of the county at twenty five cents for fourteen seventy. Yep. Standard raise. Okay. I move we give Ryan Trigo his raise. Second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, three culvert projects to do for Ridgeway Township uh, this week. Uh, our locates is good to start for tomorrow, so I don't know. We should be able to get at least one a day done. But, uh, we've done one last week for Parker Township, uh, I think on Friday. But uh, got those three projects happening this week. We are, uh, Plummer Creek is going to start having road stones again, maybe as early as tomorrow or Wednesday. Uh, and uh, also, uh, no, I'm wrong. Quinimo Quarry will have road stones. Okay. Plummer Creek has the maybe three that we're trying to use here today. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, but they are going to start crushing more back over to the Quinnemore Park, so we should be able to get some roadstone over there because they were out of it over there. Hmm. Uh, got uh, still waiting on the uh, asphalt contractor on the one bridge, the thin overlay that we're going to do on that. Uh, I still am hoping for Thanksgiving on that project. Okay. Uh, we've got Couple, I got another bridge. We need to do a little mill work on the approach to the bridge, and uh, then a small lift on that, which minute, like uh, probably 50 ton of material. But uh, still, we got those projects still coming off. Uh, mowing crew still going. Uh, they're they're probably about half completed on all the asphalt. Uh, 
but they have also done some of the larger right-of-way easements, so some areas will go a lot faster. So, uh, I think we're actually moved over to the burning game area there now. Oh, okay. Finished up the north of Overbrook. Carbondale, that area is all done. Uh, sure. Working around this way. Right. On this go around. So outside of that, I guess, don't really have too much more. Okay. Trying to keep above and away from the virus. <laughs> yeah. Where yeah. the where are the repairs on Culver going to be in Ridgeway Township? One on 125th, one on 149th, and I can't tell you on the other. Okay. Ron and, and the uh, blade operator met up there, and, okay. uh, but they, it's all on, you know, their culvert sizes. They bought the culverts, we're just, just oh, doing okay. the labor for installing them. Right. And are they, they're culverts into a field, or are they across the road? Across the road. All of them. All right. All of them are uh, railroad <coughs> culverts. Uh, but yeah, I would see the way we have to do that with the locate. They being the owner, they have to call the locate in. We being the contractor, so to speak, we have to call the yep. locate in. So the locate gets looked at twice, but that's <laughs> the way the rules right. are. And the same company doing both. Yep. Same. Well, the same. Yeah, the same right. ones will same do guy. each one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but that's the way it's set up with the eight one one deal. So, <laughs> play by their rules. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much a nutshell. What we got going on. Got some tire replacements we want to get done on the motor graders before winter. Uh, right. We are going to try a set and visiting. Of course, we really haven't had any visiting with the counties at meetings in for yep. a year. But uh, some counties are using this uh, ice and snow grader tire that they claim is really working well for them. We're going to try one set. Okay. On a grader. We'll just see how they work out. And they hold up. During the, uh, they, the season, no, or you take them off? A lot of them take them off in yeah. the spring. Uh, but they're they're real soft rubber. Yeah, oh, okay. They would be good on gravel. Not from very long. Kind of like an old snow tire. <laughs> yeah, they're real soft rubber. And, uh, got a lot of a lot of divots and slices in them, you know. For, right. We'll see how we get along with them. So, do you have it. extra rims that you put them on, or no? No. Oh, okay. Swap the whole tire we're, then. We've got the grader we're going to put these <coughs> on needs to have new tires in it. Oh, okay. So that's why we're going to put them on yet and try. Okay. Yeah, next spring we'll probably have to change that. We've got two or three extra gifts. So not enough to do like a full set. Yeah. Have a great year. Because each grader, the cat grader's got a different rim than the deer grader's got. Yeah. So you got, it ain't like you can swap one rim over to the other brand. Well, it doesn't work out. Question in the back there. On the culverts on 125th and 149th, where on the streets are they? Where are the streets are they near? I'd have to have Ron or Foreman, he's the one that talks of the. Ridgeway Township guy. So I, I really can't give you what location. And they're starting on those now, or what's the time frame on that? We'll be putting them in starting tomorrow. And Mike could get one a day. And who was it you were going to be visiting with? Uh, Todd Strother with uh, Ridgeway Township. He's their maintenance man. But, I, yeah, I can't give you the exact location. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You bet. Mm -hmm.
Derek Thomas and Lennon. Yeah, I think Derek Thomas. Jackie Thomas. Probably not on your list. Yeah. Um, and like these were calling. Yeah, a whole bunch of them. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. I have a purchase order for gloves. You found with them. Maybe. Two. Maybe. <laughs> we, we cross our fingers when we right. do this. Just came from my Another word to ask for where he got stuff. And this gentleman says he can do it. Good. That's a lot of cases of gloves, but it might not be enough. Right. That's a split between the sheriff's office and merchant management on the CARES money thing. Mm -hmm. The sheriff's office will get five cases, and I'll get the balance of 50. Right. The price is a little higher than we normally pay, but oh, yeah. it's uh, $20 a buck. Or, yeah, a box of 100 cheaper than what other, some other one that price. Right. I don't know where else you get them, and I don't know if you'll even get these. The only thing we do is keep trying. Should have invested yeah. in gloves about a year and a half. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Lamont right. Wells, I suppose, are yeah. making them too. I think. <laughs> There's a certain medical gloves. Yeah. They, they make them nine, yellow. Eight, nine right. dollars, a hundred. Yeah. So they're dumb. Over it dumb is crazy. Now. Well, yeah. That's all CARES Act money. That's CARES yes. Act money. I move we approve purchase order 3517 <clears> to <throat> chemicals by three for gloves, amount of $4,800 out of the CARES Act. I'll be amazed if you, I don't know, maybe you'll get them. He, he told me he could get them. He told me, and the other merchant manager I talked to about it said that he was good on his word, so second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. If we don't try, we're not going to get it. If you don't try, yeah. under a gun. I lost one deal within an hour. So yeah. <coughs> yes, we're going to do it. Yeah. And yeah. Every order they had was filled and everything was after that. Gone. <laughs> yep. Uh, any more discussion on the hazard duty or uh, essential employee? Yeah. Hey, you've got it coming to you. Yes. How do you want it? Bonus or a raise or what? For your, you've already stated your intentions on I, your retirement date. So. Yeah, the uh, the three dollars an hour effective. I guess the end the start of this pay period in October until I retire, which would be about oh, it's under three thousand dollars. Yeah, which yeah. would be in line with what you did with the other one. Right. I understand that. What? You want to go back to November 1st? or Well, November 1st, the pay period is, starts, what, 21st of October? Yeah. What's ever easiest for the bookkeeper? Well, and then that'll live with you till you're gone, and the next one will have to negotiate his salary with the next set of commissioners. Right. Yeah, that's, that's, that would be my, yeah. my say. So. Right. I move mean, we... Grant, the emergency management director, a $3 an hour raise starting back on October 21st. Until? Well, he's already stated his retirement plans. Around March. March. So after that, that's March. out of anybody's hands. So that, that would get him the same. Right. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. I can get some more PPE out to the schools. I have a little bit left of earmark for them. <coughs> uh, with this glove order, if we get these, we should be in pretty good shape with who knows what's coming. And vaccine coming out. Uh, and we do, you said gloves, we do, some months we average 5,000. In some weeks we've averaged using 5,000 a week. So 5,000 a week. <coughs> Mm -hmm. The big cities, uh, Johnson County, they use 50,000 gloves a day. I, yeah, how can they possibly yeah. keep supplied? Well, they buy a million dollars at a time. So. Yeah. Right. And I mean, yeah. still, you think about that on just gloves. 
will be uh, transferred about eighteen thousand and some change from EMPG over to general funds. Yeah. Okay. Which will cover uh, half of well, not yeah. half, but a third of my salary. Yep. Which is always good every year. And I did get recertified, so I'm good for emergency management certification for another eighteen months. Ago, so. Okay. If you have questions. Uh, Go back and work on some more on this club. Right. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. I I'll let you know if it falls through. I got a question for you. Yes. Are we still under a burn ban? No, it expired at 8 o'clock this morning. Okay. So unless the wind picks up and there is. You never know in Kansas, I could put one on in the next hour. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our yeah. danger today is water. Okay. There's no rain in sight. So yeah. Probably, uh, uh, Saturday and Sunday, they're turning you in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not to. We can call Lexi whenever. Okay. Uh, we, she's got her number, and that's. Or just a request to purchase a drop box. Trying to limit contacts again, I think it's just a, some kind of we'll add her to find that I don't know. Okay. So I'm I'm fine if you want to move ahead and call Lexi if you got And we may be able to move Jackie up too. Right. And we can we'll call Carol call, call, call Lexi. You're on speakerphone. Yep, you're on speaker with commissioners. Is it okay to call you this early? No, that's fine. Okay. Fine. I had some other things to talk about, but I just have one main thing. Since I'm not there today, that I wanted to run by you guys. Um, I've been looking into getting uh, a Dropbox for payments. So basically, it would be very similar to what we had for the election ballot drop-off, except it'd be the box is smaller, but it's still full to the concrete, just to kind of help ease people that are maybe nervous about coming in the courthouse in general, and it ease their mind, give them another um, option. If they don't want to mail it, they can at least drop it, check the drop box a couple times a day. Um, since this is kind of related to coronavirus, I was wondering, too, can we use the CARES money to purchase this? I would think so. I don't, yeah, I don't know if it was in there or not, but how much are you talking? You got an idea? Well, you know, they're, they're pretty expensive. In my opinion, they're kind of expensive. Like the ballots, the ballot drop boxes, they run, you know, anywhere from 2000 to 2500 and these payment ones. They're secure like that, but they're even, they're a little more beefed up, and they're going to probably run around $2,500, but I think it's something that even once we get beyond this point would be useful to people. Yeah. I mean, I think it would be useful even when we're not going through a pandemic right. that people would be able to drop. I mean, they can even put their registration in there if they don't, you know, right. to make an appointment. So when People don't trust the mail. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, and this would just be a good solution, I think, to kind of keep people out. I don't think we should be encouraging a ton of people getting out and about. I mean, it's cold and flu season also on top of everything else. Yeah. I, I don't have a problem with it. No, I don't either, so. Okay. And as I said, it would be very similar. It's, it, it's tall enough that you can drive up. You don't have to get out of your vehicle. You can drop it and go on. Yep. Yes, get us a PO. And we'll okay, I will, I will do that. Um, I think that's really all I wanted to hit on at this point. Now oh. things could change, you know. It's, right. There's a few things up in the air about 
our office, but when right. we know more information, I'll let you know. Okay. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Have a good day. Same Bye-bye. Same Bye. I assume they're going to put it like they did the voter box out here, kind of in that loop where you drive by it. Uh, I would request a break. Sure. You got a little time, so. Oh.